Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I'd like to call up to the podium Diamond, Diamond Dave Whitaker, who I am uh, very pleased to uh, be honoring today. We also have an item on, on our imperative agenda to declare today, February 2nd, 2016, Diamond Dave Whitaker Day. Oh, my goodness. It's close to your birthday. It's not quite your birthday. That's right, but it's close um, enough so I can say learn to love, love to learn. This never ends. You're going to have to wait your turn, though, Mr. Diamond Dave. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, Diamond Dave Whitaker, uh, before us today, left... Minnesota for San Francisco in 1957 at age 19, seeking a mythical land of all-night parties and free love. Diamond Dave Whitaker is a San Francisco legend, maestro of spoken word, and revolutionary rabble-rouser who uses language to engage and connect. Mr. Whitaker has been described as beat before there were beatniks, hips before, hip before there were hippies, punk before punk even happened. Diamond Dave Whitaker has cast a wide net in life from mentoring a young Bob Dylan in Minnesota, who I think you turned on to uh, Bound for Glory, Woody Guthrie's book, and turned him on to Woody Guthrie, which is like a huge thing for Bob Dylan fans, uh, to pushing boundaries with the beatniks and hippies in San Francisco, to inspiring modern punk and hip hop musicians, he has found the common thread between many generations of alternative American culture. Diamond Dave Whitaker has been a decades-long supporter of activist movements for social justice. He is a pacifist, has always stood by our veterans, whether from the Vietnam War or any of our subsequent wars, because he understands that a mandatory draft of that, that time and the poverty draft which supplanted it victimizes the poor and working class of our society. Diamond Dave Whitaker has written, spoken word, organized, protested, and taken direct action in support of the innocent, the downtrodden, the disabled, and all who have suffered the unfairness of our social system, which is in dire need of change. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's more. Oh. Uh, Diamond Dave Whitaker promotes engagement through poetry, which he celebrates through the Common Thread radio show on Mutiny Radio, and by hosting the annual Poems Under the Dome. We collaborate on that. We do. Uh, open mic poetry yeah. event here in City Hall, uh, commemorating National Poetry Month in uh, our rotunda. As Diamond Dave Whitaker is fond of quoting himself, that's true. You are fond of quoting yourself. Uh, thus spreading his message of community engagement and, and empowerment as embodied in his statement, strangers become friends, friends become family, family becomes, becomes community, community, and community on the move. That's, that's our, our movement. movement. Never thought I'd be doing that with you right now. Thank you. Uh, Diamond Dave Whitaker served several terms as senator on the City College of San Francisco's Associated Student Council, and he helped organize student opposition to the Accrediting Commission for Community and Junior College's attempt to revoke col uh, City College's accreditation. Still working on it. And you actually invited me out to, uh, to speak you came. Uh, a and couple of times out there. Too. Uh, Diamond Dave right Whitaker perceives needed. his role as an elder of the community to assist in providing context, lineage, and history, and to treat each other with greater respect, compassion, and kinship. So today we'll be voting to make uh, February 2nd, 2016, Diamond Dave Whitaker Day. And now's your chance to regale us at the podium. Regale, oh my goodness. Well, that was a number of mouthfuls. And what do they say about something that's written by a committee? That sounds like it was written by a committee, but put together many mouthfuls. Hey, hey Brother Cross, hey, fellow, fellow human beings, I'll start out as I take a deep breath. Fellow human beings, members of the board, brothers and sisters, here I be, a long, strange trip it's been. First time I ever stepped in here, 1957, bike messenger by day, beatnik by day and night. It was 1957, and I was in seventh heaven, a nonlinear dart on the urban checkerboard, 
And I first walked in these chambers, and I was just remembering, I thought of it last night, because the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the primary was going on in the state of Iowa, and who won? It was a senator from Texas, am I right? And he reminded me of the guy who I first met here as a congressman from Texas who came up and they took over this Board of Supervisors chamber. The request was J. Parnell Thomas. Anybody heard of him? He was a chair of the Un-American Activities Committee. And they came and they used their, pri their primary right to come and take over this chamber and invest some of our great intellectuals, some of our great fellow human beings, and bring them up and say, are you now or have you ever been? I was sitting right there in 1957, and we, we had our hands full. We turned. The next year, the king came again, and so many people came, said, this isn't going to happen once again. The House on American Activities Committee, J. Parnell Thomas was his name, later to go to the penitentiary, that they brought the fire hoses out and, and rolled, us, rolled the folks down the steps. How many here have heard about that? That was 1958. I was on the kibbutz in Israel. But 57, I sat right here. And those days, they had different, the benches were different. They had, everybody smoked in those days, and they had ashtrays, and everybody was smoking up a storm. Did you guys know that, too? And that was the Board of Supervisors. <laughs> Pretty funny. And I was here, and this happens to be Super Bowl week, and so I feel an irony. Here it is, since I've been a long-time member of Food Not Bombs, saying get in the loop and have some soup. No time to frown, it's time to chow down. Food's not, food Not Bombs is the key. The food we have is always free. <laughs> and also the irony in having hearing all this earlier, I can help to say the devil is in the details, and it's up to you guys to straighten it out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But it is true. there has been a long, strange trip. And I've been at it, and I'm still at it. And you can catch me every Friday on Mutiny Radio. That's uh, mutinyradio.fm, streaming live and podcasted. And I'm thinking about so many times I've been here. I'm thinking about the, the Board of Supervisors, the, the first district elections, which I was involved with, the first community congress, which I was involved with. That was the early 60s. And also KPOO Radio, I used to sit right there, and we used to broadcast live on Mondays. Anybody remember that? The Board of Supervisors came uh, way back then. There was a different board. There was before district elections, Mendelssohn, Pelosi, uh, the, 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 the Jack Morrison now gone. So many, so many people sat here. And then district elections, the district elections, all of this is running through my head like a great stream of happenings. And so, hey, thank, thanks for, uh, for bringing me up here. And there's going to be some kind of recognition at the library at 4.30 uh, for, of, of all these years, all this water under the bridge, all of this irony, all of this. So I'm really glad to be here. And thanks, Supervisor Avalos, for, for, for giving me this recommendation. I want to say, hey, brother, and it's so good to talk to you. And uh, North Beach and the Beats and Ferlinghetti, I could go on forever, but I won't. You've had enough going on forever already today. I'll just draw our clothes and say, peace, love, and understanding, so let's cast that wide net, find that common thread, let life flourish, and say, don't panic, just keep it organic. And what came to me just before I turned to 78, I'm thinking of an old man, now it's all over, and then I heard the very great spirit, and here's what she said, learn to love, love to learn, this never ends. Thanks a lot, people. Thanks a lot. It's good to be here. And right then, the beat goes on. Anybody else? Any other members of the board want to come here and join this? Come on, Aaron. I was talking to you. David, where are you? <laughs> to be continued. Here's a man talking about city college. We have city in the city, on the planet, and in the street. And here we be. To be continued. The beat goes on. Thank you, and congratulations, Diamond Dave. You are a true San Francisco treasure. And happy birthday. All right, Madam Clerk, let's get back to business.